Hey, John. I'm Bonnie. Greetings from Toronto, Canada. How are you today? Good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you very much. Um, okay, your movie gave me a lot of feels, I got to tell you. It scared the crap out of me, first of all, so thanks for that. Appreciate it. Um, but my sure. goodness, uh, really an eye-opener um, when you really dig deep. And I wanted to know how this all started for you. Like, how deep did you have to dig to find these characters to bring us this story? Um, yeah, that's a good question. I feel like any time I write anything, I it's a, it's some kind of, like painful deep dive into <laughs> uncomfortable spaces <laughs> um, it's cathartic though the, right <clears throat> sure sure no it's always about fine you know asking questions about myself and sure. and uh trying to make sense of these you know conflicting feelings um but yeah this one in in particular it is it is a it is a kind of a character who who loses his grip you know um yeah. And who um, who struggles to to find a place um, in the world, and who doesn't really know himself, and right. um, who who carries all these childhood fears into his adult life, um, and then at a certain point we we see how he just begins to kind of spiral out of control. Um, so yeah, I mean, in answer, in answer to your question, you know, there's a <clears throat> there's a tremendous amount that we that I that I imagined about the character that I wrote about his backstory and his childhood and, and all of that stuff. And this is stuff we you know I discussed with, with Jesse. But at the end of the day, the 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 idea was always to be to sort of put the audience in a in close proximity with this character who is terrifying, as you say. Yeah. Um, and to have a, a a feeling for his vulnerability and his um, his pain, but also not to have complete insight into everything that's going on there. So, so we're we're close to we're we're sitting sort of strapped in with this character for the duration of the film, and things are getting increasingly tense and and scarier because we can feel he's going off the rails, and uh, yeah. we're sort of on, on the journey with him. Um, Right, yeah. but ultimately, yeah. when you look at cults, when you look at, you know, I don't even want to just say cults, when people are at their most vulnerable, they're drawn into things that maybe they didn't know they need, wanted, or but somebody, there's a safe house for them, which always isn't mm. always a good thing, as we see and as we mm. know with, with certain cults mm. and religions and what have you, you know? Um, mm. and, I, and I wondered before, you know, while you were writing this too, Clearly, maybe you had to do a little bit of research into what happens to somebody when they are drawn into this kind of situation. Yeah, I, um, you know, I sort of pulled from all sorts of different sources. Um, the, there's, on the one hand, you've got all this kind of these online communities and all this sort of ideology right. and and ideas about the world and about men and about the men's place in the world and. Um, so that, so there's all of that. And I, I wouldn't say that I did kind of rigorous research. I, I sort of, you know, dipped into it at a certain point. And then at a certain point, I also kind of pulled back from them and I was like, okay, I'm, I'm not making a film about that. I'm right. Yeah. I'm then drawing, it would be a I'm drawing inspiration. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but then on the other end of the spectrum, there's things like, um, chosen family, which is a, yes. sort of a queer concept, you know, I'm a gay man and I, I, I'm, very well aware of um these kind of chosen queer families people who come from you know problematic backgrounds and toxic relationships and yeah. they they find people who are like them like-minded people and they build yeah. new families so so that, so the film kind of came from this idea of like well what if you take this this sort of ideology and the the sort of disenfranchisement of the of this one world and answer it by by creating a kind of chosen family uh, as a as a space to to kind of cultivate these ideas and to sort of rehabilitate um, these men, um, and that sort of that set off uh, that sort of set me off on on the process of, of kind of creating the family and creating its iconography and its processes. Yeah, um, I mean there were other sources as well, but but it, I, sure. I sort of pulled just from. 
from everywhere. Yeah, yeah understood. Um, did you always have these actors in mind? Like, you know, I've interviewed Jesse, oh my God, for mm. many, many, many years. I know, and we know how good he is. He's so versatile. Uh, but man, taking this one on, like, he really, he really dove in, no question. Did you always think about him while, when you were writing about Ralphie? No, no, you know, I was, I was, I was always wrote, I always imagined the character as a kind of hulking sort of alpha gym guy. Yeah. Um, but, but at the same time, there's also this kind of softness in, in Ralphie, you know, his kind of, that there's a baby boy inside this big man. Right. Um, and, and, you know, when we started casting, this conversation happened quite early on of, maybe we should maybe we should be looking at a different kind of actor and, and jesse's name just you know came up almost immediately um and i was i was delighted to send him the script to have the opportunity to to send him the script and to meet with him and um and he just responded immediately he was he was fascinated he was intrigued um he he understood what it was uh he understood the he understood my terror you know yeah. I, I i i say i've said it a lot before but i was kind of writing somebody who terrifies me you know i was trying to describe describe the kind of guy that i would cross the road to avoid you know for sure I'm trying to ima imagine what that was and and, yeah. and he kind of latched onto that immediately and and what he is able to to bring to the character so beautifully i think is this idea of ralphie just not able to accept who he is and desperately trying to be something other you know right um trying and failing and i th and, and ultimately i think the film is about male failure mm. um ralphie fails continuously and 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 jc fails really well <laughs> uh, yeah oh boy i mean he, 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 you know he transforms physically everything about about him i mean it's amazing and it's interesting too because this character here is a guy who uh on top of everything else like his, his his yes his life is spiraling but then he's he's about to be a dad and that could scare the crap out of anybody too uh yeah i mean it, yeah he, he just did just a great job and then i want to mention adrian brody too because mm. i love seeing him in these kinds of roles you know um he really, he really took this one on as well. You really lucked out with your cast. <laughs> I know, I really did. I really did. I, I mean, I, again, it's so, so much respect and admiration for Adrian. I mean, he's had this incredible career, and it was just so surprising that he w was even kind of considering a, a film like this or a role like this. Um, he just, he just got it again. Like he read the script and he just immediately understood what what I was trying to do and and um it was just amazing to 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 have him on board and to bring so much um I think nuance to the character you know I think he could have he could have made very easy choices yeah um and he didn't he could have played him like a like an army sergeant or a you know some kind of you know hyper masculine sociopath but instead right. he's like this he's this, you know he inhabited this kind of warmth and this um this familiarity this kind of fatherly domestic space um yeah. and it was such an interesting choice and i i just commend him it was it was wonderful it was it's wonderful to to see the two of them together kind of yes their, their ideas about the film and into the yeah. same space absolutely you know just to wrap it up i know it's kind of a cliche question but you know, look, you, we all, you know, you make movies to entertain, of course, but there is a deep seated message in this film. What do you, what do you hope that people maybe might walk away with it or talk about after they see it? Um, you know, there, there's no one sentence that I can give you that is the message of the film, but I, I always try to, I always try to construct a, a story in a way that when you kind of walk away from it, that it, that there are these kind of questions that immediately kind of put you back into the film to, to kind of get you to think about the, the film and and the journey that you've been on and yeah um i think i think with this one it's it's very much about this idea of you know and i, I think this is a universal thing i think it, i think it applies to me i think it applies to most men and, and not just men but but this idea that we we're we're suddenly we're grown up we're adults we're men we're supposed to behave like men in the world um 
but we don't really know what that means. And inside, we're we're like frightened little kids. We're we're yeah. still these kind of I, I feel like a baby. And there are times when I just want to kind of curl down, curl up on the floor, and cry. You know. Yeah, sure. Um. And and so there there's something in the dichotomy of that, the kind of inside and outside, that that I imagined as a kind of mental illness almost you know what what happens if you kind of push that to extreme so so in a way the film is a, is a kind of meditation on that this this uh this this construct of a man but but there really isn't a person there um there is right. there's there's a there's a frightened little boy uh at the base of it you know yeah and i think that i think that that speaks to so many of our societal problems. Um, oh God, uh, yeah, so, yeah, so, we could talk so, about that. So-called for... crisis of mass. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Well, it's it was you did a great job, really. Congratulations on it, and and Jesse, man, he just never ceases to amaze me. So congratulations on this. Me too. Uh, and thank you, you and so me much. Both. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for your time today, John. Really appreciate it. Have a good rest of your day. Thank you. It's a huge pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye.